says this, come boldly, come boldly. Well, what does that mean? It's in the context of saying, we have Jesus who cares about our weaknesses. So are you in a storm? Are you in a crisis? Come boldly. Pause. I have my friend Marie with me and I'm going to ask you some questions. Marie, Awesome. what does it mean for you, the throne of grace and come boldly? Uh, it means... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it means to um, just anytime there's a lack of peace inside, I can just approach God and be honest right away, tell him what's the matter and why I need his grace, why I need him to touch me with his mercy, with his kindness so I can face the situation and, and be free from anxiety and receive peace and grace. Awesome. Because when there's an emergency, you ever watch the people take the stretcher through the emergency room doors? Guess what they do? They slam open the emergency door. They're very bold because it's an emergency and they got to get that person into safety. Be that way when you come to God in an emergency. Be bold. Tell me what you said to me in the car, Marie. Yeah, so we need to be bold because... Um, we just arrive before God and we tell him we can't do it without you like this is my only option because I'm weak and small and without the power of the Holy Spirit and God we can't face our lives and do the things we're called to do yeah and also I want to say one more thing um, sometimes we think coming to the bold coming <laughs> coming boldly to the throne of grace means that situation's going to stop. I'm no longer going to be in a crisis. But what the Bible actually says, come boldly to the throne of grace that you can get mercy and help in your time of need. Mercy and grace to help you in your time of need. So don't freak out that you're still in a storm. Why don't you go to him every day and get what you need, which is mercy and grace to help you. Bye. <laughs> no French. Say some French. Oh, oui. yeah. <laughs> Talk about the throne of grace in French. Le trône de la grâce. Oui. Aussi, ça m'a fait penser. La grâce, c'est gracias en espagnol. C'est uh, la gratitude et être um, um, avoir de la gratitude dans son cœur et être reconnaissant à Dieu. On peut entrer dans son trône de la grâce avec cette gratitude en, en, en le remerciant et en lui demandant plus de sa grâce. Translation, please. So, um, the uh, grace, gracias, gratitudes, it's in Espanol and the root, etymologically, it's uh, also gratitude and thankfulness. And so you can enter the throne of grace with that gratitude in your heart that knowing that God is going to answer and give you more grace and being grateful for the grace you already have. So, Plus, it's a throne. So guess what Jesus is? He's the king mm -hmm. of grace. Yes. And he gives, grace is help. And then the more we get, the more we receive and the more we're thankful. And we need it every day. Yeah. So bless you. Whatever you're facing right now, I pray for you that you'll have grace, that you'll find him at the throne of grace, that you'll be bold and God will help you and give you what you need. Bye. Bye again. <laughs> <laughs> no, no.